Welcome to tutorial number 159. In this tutorial, we will talk about the next sheet meter command, the cross break. In this tutorial, we will see what is the cross break and why, and have a look at some real examples, and then see how to apply the cross break on a single face and see the options of a cross break. And then we will have another example to show you how to apply the cross break on multiple faces then we will have a look how to know the direction of cross break the cross break from its name it is a break with the shape of cross on a sheet metal face or in other words cross bend here i have a real picture for a real example here we have sheet of metal where the cross break is applied on that face so while they are using the cross break when the sheet metal face become long they become weaker so the cross break is to add some support to the sheet metal and increase stiffness and rigidity of the face when it became longer or in simple words to make the sheet metal stronger here we see this on a single face and here I have another picture for a duct where you can see clearly how the cross break looks like. So this is somehow a long sheet metal and this cross break will support and decrease the vibration. And let's get back to the first image. If you have a look, you will see that the cross bend has a radius and has a depth. And as well, it has an angle. So when we come to the command in SOLIDWORKS, so it will be clear what it means with the angle and the radius. Go back to SOLIDWORKS and start a new part. And let's try to make a similar thing. Sketch on the top plane. I will pick a corner rectangle. and make a rectangle and give it some dimensions so I will make it 2 meters so it is 2000 millimeter and the length make it 1000 create a plate with a thickness 1.5 Click OK. So here is the base steel plate, and let's add some edges. So pick, select the edge, give it dimension of length of thirty millimeter, and then select the rest of the edges when you are done click ok and here on the bend radius I'll make it 5 millimeter now we have a single face plate so let's add a cross break to this face go to the cross break command and here the cross break options will open over there and here you're going to select the first where you're going to apply the cross break so as you remember in the picture over here so we will make something similar and i pick this face and if you look the arrow over there that is the direction of the cross break so it is upward and if you would like to reverse it you make it downward but it is upward and here we said the bending has a radius so let's make it 
five millimeter and the angle almost 100 so you can guess the angle over there it is quite deep cross break so we can guess the angle to be kind of 135 and when you are done click ok SolidWorks will not show you a 3D view of the cross break but this line they will indicate there are cross break over there as well in the picture tree you can see the cross break so let's again talk about the cross break options go to the cross break edit feature and you have here edit cross profile to have a successful cross break the cross break lines be coincident with the edges so go to the edit the cross break profile and now you are able to see the lines and modify them so for example if delete this coincident relation and make the line shorter here you will notice the finish is not activated so it will not actually work if you go back and then click ok you will get error so edit the the line again and let's this time add it on this edge so now it is coincident with this edge but it is not on the corner so you can add some dimension there 20 and then finish so you will notice that the cross brick is working you can do the same on the other edges as well finish the sketch so you will have the cross break applied as you see so now let's try to make on a cross break on a multiple faces as you see here start a new part go to the top plane and create the the base of that box i'll select corner rectangle and give it some dimension equal and over here i will make an opening So again select corner rectangle and add some dimensions to it on this edge to this line 5 millimeter and on this edge to is to Five millimeter and trim unnecessary part. So you can fully define the 
dimensions are already assigned so we can just simply fully define the sketch okay extrude this sheet metal or the sheet metal box the bend radius 5 millimeter the sheet thickness um, millimeter click okay so here is the initial duct and now let's apply the cross spec on the faces select cross spec here five millimeter and if you notice in the picture the duct here is, is not as deep as in the previous one so in this case the angle can be around one so 170 is like the most of the cross specs round so we can make it around that value 165 so pick here in the face select the faces and you notice that you are able to apply the cross break only one time and so the works not allow you to select multiple faces so when you are done click ok and over here we can before applying the cross break at the rest of the faces we try to close this gap we can do it by adding an edge flange over there give it a distance 30 millimeter select offset 2 millimeter and click ok so it is clear that this face or this edge over there will be spot welded with that so now let's apply the cross break on the rest of the faces cross break select this face okay cross break in this face as we saw in the picture is upward click okay And the last one, it will be a little bit special because of the adhering edge. So let's see. Apply cross break. And then. This edge or this distance over there. It should be welded with the, to the edge over there. So we need to edit the. The place of the cross break lines and make this point and this point vertical and this point with this edge make it constant so now it's fully defined and as well the same here delete the previous relation and this point to this point make it constant and it will be directly defined click ok so we can apply the same gap on the other two edges to give it some symmetry and to do that you can measure the distance over there and it is 23.5 so 
let's try to and you can keep them or you can keep them as they are When you are done, click finish. In reality, as we saw, it looks something like this. And one last thing I want to say, how to know the direction of the cross break. As we said, there is no 3D view for the cross break. There are two ways. First way, if you go to the cross break, edit, and you will see the arrow over there. And there is also the method that they look at it in industry is on the drawing because there are some values can be shown and this is what we will talk about when we came to the drawing with the sheet metal.